This latest violence started here. A village destroyed, lives lost. Youths from the Lo Nue tribe in South Sudan celebrate their conquest. These pictures are from Wednesday's attack in the village of Lokongole. Armed fighters burned down homes of the rival Merle group. Dozens of people are killed. Many thousands more are on a frantic search for refuge. I think we have to expect that the number of people that are in the bush that have run for their lives and looking for safety is going to be in the high tens of thousands. An estimated 6,000 Lao Nui fighters are conducting an apparent mission of revenge. They accuse the Merle of killing their kin, abducting their children and raiding their cattle. Cows play a central role in the lives of these communities for food as bridal dowry and a symbol of prosperity. Tribal conflicts have gone on for decades, but since August, ethnic fighting has intensified, killing more than 1,000 people from both sides. Uh, the government has taken very, very serious steps in its uh, commitment to protect the citizens in Jonglei State, whether these were Murle or Nuer, uh, Law Nuer uh, people. South Sudan gained its independence in July last year. But rebuilding a war-torn country and addressing high poverty levels here is a challenge. The new government is scrambling to send troop reinforcements to the nearby town of Peebo. But the country's police force and army is ill-equipped and not very well trained. That makes it more difficult to try and stop this latest escalation of violence and find a long-term solution to these two warring tribes. Harumutasa Al Jazeera, Juba.